So, here is the brand new Ibanez Tube Screamer pillow. But it wouldn't be this channel if we didn't actually review this honestly and in depth. So, we're going to start with obviously what a Tube Screamer is supposed to do, which is sounds. So, let's hook it up to the setup that's on the table and see if it sounds like a Tube Screamer. Okay, so I hooked up the brand new Ibanez Tube Screamer pillow to uh, a line from Universal Audio and a little TC delay. Uh, without the Tube Screamer pillow, it sounds like so. <laughs> Nicely edge of breakup sound. Um, one of the issues is that the uh, jacks are a little bit loose, so you'll have to employ some duct tape, but only green duct tape will work, obviously. Now, let's see what it sounds like when we uh, turn this puppy on. I guess it does its job as an overdrive. Please don't tell me you believe that. So, does it work as a feeding station for the cat? It does, but we actually have something much better, which I want to review in full. There is the Ibanez dog slash cat bowl. Let's try this and see if it works better. Oh, not yet, not yet, where we are. Oh, much better than the Drew Square pillow. So, I have a hunch that there is a problem with the Ibanez Tube Screamer in pillow shape when it comes to small pedal boards. Now, this is uh, a Daddario pedal board, the small expand. So, if you're trying to put it on a fly rig, let's see what happens. It's, uh, it's a bit oversized. So, we might have to go to a bigger pedal board. Uh, we'll try that. But that is obviously not working. Also, when you have something like a pedal stand, like here, I've got a nice stand with three ref pedals on it. Um, it here, I can, for the ref pedals, I can use three on this. And here, it's already four. So in terms of practicality and economics, when it comes to pedal board real estate, pooh, Ibanez. Mm -hmm. Also talking about pedal boards. Now, there's a lot of surface on the back. And realistically, how much Velcro do you need to actually get this securely fastened to a pedal board with Velcro. I'm going to say this is probably the whole roll. Um, I mean, does it even stick? Not well, no. I mean, can you do it? Yes. Is it going to be safe on your pedal board? I don't think so, Ibanez. What were you thinking? We are now here uh, in the post office where we're testing pedal boards. Uh, there's a Schmidt array, there's a second Schmidt array. Uh, let's try this mono and see oh, if the Ibanez Tube Screamer pedal fits on a mono board. We have a couple of pedals on here. Oh, that's where my computer doesn't is. I understand now. So, ah, that's where they are. So, let's say we're going to get the starlight off here. Starlight off. It would technically fit here, but you can already see what the problem is. If you can attach the Velcro and you can put it on your board, first of all, lots of board real estate lost, but also you cannot close your pedal board back. What were you thinking? One of the benefits of the other super pillow is if you have a hallway like I do, which is all green, it almost camouflages. I mean, depending on where you hold it, it's a different kind of green, but I mean, you get the idea. Okay, let's test the properties of the Overdrive Pro TS-808 Ibanez Tube Screamer Pillow in its natural habitat, which is as a pillow. Uh, actually, not too bad. I'm actually... What if I lie on the knobs? Oh, with having a knob in your head isn't so great, but... Okay. 
Okay, and now, I mean, uh, in this way. Okay, Bruno, uh, since most of the things here are greenish blue anyway, can you please test this two screen right here into a pillow for us? No. Mm, not, not so much. X, what do you think? Hmm? Two screen right pillow? Excited? Yes? No? Indifferent? Noodle loves it! Come on. They took my pillow for the dumber dogs in this world. Um, animals at the... right here. Uh, link below, I guess.